Beware of pastors and teachers who are defiled with pride, who think they are better than others because of their knowledge of the Bible and their supposed knowledge of God. This is what Jesus said in Mark chapter 7. I'm starting in verse 20. And he said, What comes out of a man, that defiles a man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceeds evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile a man. Many pastors and preachers and teachers defile themselves because they are so prideful. They are not humble brothers and sisters before the Lord. They think that they are better than others because of their scripture knowledge. But true brothers and sisters in the Lord, look at what Jesus says about them. This is found in John chapter 7. I'm going to start in verse 37. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Today Jesus is glorified, and his children receive his Holy Spirit with joy. If you are a brother or sister in the Lord that has received the Holy Spirit, when you speak, you're speaking out of that bubbling of your heart, that river of living water that the Holy Spirit has put there. And if you truly are a child of God, you are sharing and spreading the good news that the Holy Spirit told you. You're not speaking out of pride or arrogance, but your own testimony. And that is why Jesus says this in John chapter 7. He who believes in me, as scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. It is a joy to know Jesus and to have his truth and his revelation in us. He speaks to us in dreams and visions. He answers our prayers while we pray because Jesus is alive. He loves his children and he speaks to them. I encourage you to be a child of God to hear the Lord Jesus, and to have this fountain of living water in you. When you speak, speak out of the truth that the Holy Spirit put there, not out of pride like the pastors. They think that they know God. They can't come to Jesus because they're so prideful. They think that they already know who God is, and they will never come to the truth unless they repent of their pride and their arrogance and thinking that they are better than others. Don't listen to these pastors and preachers and teachers. Receive the Holy Spirit and become a brother or sister in the Lord. Have the love of Jesus in you. And that way when you speak, you will also have the love of Jesus in you. You won't be like the teachers and the pastors and the elders and the deacons who are full of pride and arrogance. Don't be like them because the judgment of God is coming upon the wicked it is coming upon those who are proud and arrogant. But the grace of God is with the humble. Be humble of heart. Receive the words of the Holy Spirit. Stay close with Jesus and you'll have everlasting life. May the grace of Jesus be with you.